Hey everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to create a product motion design in After Effects. Also, we are going to look at how to give new light to the circle shapes and simple animation for After Effects beginners. Open After Effects. Go to the Project Panel. Create a new composition. Change Comp Name to Main. Preset Custom. Width 1920. Height 1080 pixels. Frame Rate 29.97. Set Duration Time to 10 seconds and click OK. We're going to work with this folder called Tutorial. I will give my project file link in my description. I have lots of editing techniques to share with you guys. For more tutorial updates, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, we need to create a gradient background. Right-click, New Solid. Change the solid name to BG. Make Comp Size and click OK. Again, go to the Effect Presets. Type 4-Color Gradient. Drag and drop on the solid layer and adjust a few settings. Make sure to change the key points as I am showing. After the key points adjustment, I'm going to copy the color code. You can also take a screenshot of the color code. After copying the color code, I am going to paste on the new four color gradient ramp effect. In these two middle key points, I will change the color to something lighter. Set the jitter amount to 100. Lock the background layer. Again, create a new composition. Width 500. Height 500. Change the comp name to a circle. And click OK. Now go to the menu. Select a circle shape. Draw the shape to something like this. Open the ellipse path. Change the size to something like this. Now we need to give a new light. To do that, right-click the new light. Set light type to point light. Intensity to 120. Make sure to check the box on the cast shadows. Shadow diffusion 500 pixels. and make sure to enable the 3D icon here. Now set one view to two views and change the custom view. Now you can change the X, Y, and Z position values to something like this. Now go to the main composition. Select the circle comp. Drag and drop on the timeline and adjust a few settings. Press S to open scale property. Reduce the scale amount and move the position to something like this. Again, duplicate the layer and change the position. Again, press S to open the scale. Adjust the scale value and move the position. Again, duplicate the layer and adjust a few settings. Now, select all comp layers, duplicate the layers, and move the position to something like this. Again, I am going to change the position value randomly. Now, select all six comp layers. Press P to open position. Create a keyframe. Move the keyframes at two seconds. Now change the Y position value to something like this. Now select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. 
hit the space bar button to preview. Now you can offset the layer randomly. Now go to the project panel. Search for the smartwatch PNG image. Drag and drop on the timeline. Now select both layers. Press P to the open position and Shift R to open orientation. Now go to the menu. Choose the pan behind tool and change the anchor point at the bottom. Again, select both layers, create a keyframe, and move the keyframes at 2 seconds. Now go at the first frame, change the Z rotation value to minus 45 degrees, and also change the Y position to something like this. Select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and change the graph value to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Now go at 2 seconds 1 frame, create a keyframe on rotation property. Go forward 3 seconds and change the rotation value to plus 20 and minus 20. Select only the rotation keyframe. Press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor and change the graph value. Now select the image layer. Right click to pre compose. Now move the position. Now go to the project panel, select the boat logo, drag and drop on the timeline, and adjust the scale value. Make sure to enable the 3D Choose a Pan Behind tool to move the anchor point at the bottom. Press P and Shift R to open position and orientation. Create a keyframe on position. Again, create a keyframe on Y rotation. Move the keyframe at 2 seconds. Now, change the Y rotation to 2 times. And change the Y position to something like this. And make sure to change the graph value also. Hit the spacebar button to preview. As you see, I already created the caption and icons. If you need this icon, you can download it from flaticon.com and you can download any vector icons on this website and it's free. Now I will fast forward this. After arranging the icons and text, select all text and icon layers. Press P to open position. Create a keyframe. Move the keyframe at 2 seconds and change the Y position to something like this. 
Now, select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open Graph Editor and change the graph value to something like this. You can randomly change the layers and make sure to give the drop shadows if you wish. Hit the spacebar button to reveal the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my tutorial, and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.